What is going on my mates? Hope everyone has been very well. Welcome to Monday. On Mondays as of late, I've been doing some controversial videos or talking about somewhat controversial topics. This topic is really no different. I try to approach these from a very reasonable point of view, perspective, etc. and just talk about it, give you information, and then you can form your own opinion and decision about it. And that's what we're going to do today. Today we're going to be talking about a band from Long Island, New York called Brand New. See, I freaking used to love brand new. I still do, but I used to too. A lot of people have asked me about this. Why does everyone hate brand new? Why don't people want to listen to them anymore? Why do people say certain things about them? And I feel like that it is incumbent upon me to provide my audience, the mates, with information that is accurate so you are able to form your own informed opinion on this matter. I'm not here to change minds or sway you in one direction or another. I simply wish to educate. The only matter that I wish to sway you on or persuade you to to do is to not jump down someone's throat if they have the opposite opinion of the opinion that you have. If you love brand new, cool. That's great. If you don't, cool. That's great. Because guess what, dude? That is just your opinion on this matter. Just be your own person. Form your own opinions. Be a freaking individual. Stick to your guns and don't let other people sway you. Don't let me sway you. Even, even if you think that I'm right about something, form your own opinion. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm dumb. Challenge me. That brings us to the question, how did one of the most beloved emo, indie, alternative rock bands ever become so hated in the public eye, especially on the woke? sites like Twitter, Tumblr. How did that happen? How did we get here? See, the thing about Brand New is that their situation doesn't really differ too much from a lot of other people in the similar situation that are being canceled. Basically, what it comes down to, there were some allegations made against the lead singer, Jesse Lacey, involving some sexual misconduct of many different kinds. There are many different allegations, and I'm not here to say they're true or not true, but what I am here to say is that the apology that he gave was pretty lackluster luster if you can even call it an apology and that's the thing whether or not you believe the allegations a hundred percent or zero percent we can safely confirm that there were obviously some things that have happened if it came out and then almost immediately he issues a lengthy apology on Facebook so even if you don't believe what people have said about him whatever something happened you know what I'm saying if he's going to apologize and my personal opinion is that all of these allegations even if his apology would have been decent in something that he could really like redeem himself from. I really do think this would have been the final nail in the coffin for this band because this stuff did happen a long time ago. So it's like been kept under wraps for so long. So I think it just really feels like a lot of fans have been lied to, which I mean, I guess like, yeah, it has been literal just lies by omission. So I think even if his apology would have been okay, decent, I just don't think they could have come back from this, honestly, just because just the nature of the whole thing, just how it all unfolded. All right, so diving into the apology, that Jesse Lacey made. This statement was issued November 11th, 2017 on Facebook, and I'm sure other social media platform sites, but we're reading it from Facebook. Gonna take it a couple of chunks at a time. So here we go. Here are like the first two paragraphs. In an effort to address recent events in the public conversation currently happening, I feel it is important to make a clear and personal statement fair. The actions of my past have caused great pain and harm to a number of people, and I want to say that I'm absolutely sorry. I do not stand in defense of myself, nor do I forgive myself. I was selfish, narcissistic, and insensitive in my past, and there are a number of people who have had to shoulder the burdens of my failures. I apologize for the hurt I have caused and hope to be able to take the correct actions to earn forgiveness and trust. And that's the thing, dude. This apology could have been absolutely, totally somewhat decent if it just ended right there. If he was like, I want to make a statement. I did bad things. I'm sorry. No excuses. I am just sorry. People were hurt. That's it. I'd be like, okay, man, you know, like earn your forgiveness, you know, like whatever, like, you know, like maybe it's it, again, it's not really up to me, but you know what I'm saying? It's like that, that would have been so much more decent if you didn't include the rest of this, but diving into the rest, this is actually way longer than I thought. I don't know if I'm going to read all of it, but going on to the next paragraph early on in my life, I'd have developed a dependent and addictive relationship with sex. I was scared of it, ashamed and unwilling or unable to admit it. So it grew into a consistent and terrible problem. Years ago, after admitting my habits and, and cheating to my then soon to be wife, I began to approach my problem in a serious way. I entered professional treatment, both in group therapy and individual counseling and revealed the realities of what a terrible place I had gotten to in my life and what a terrible impact my actions had had on people. And I think the reason that people took issue with this paragraph and the rest of the apology in general is 
is because in the early part of the paragraph, he talks about, oh, his addiction and, you know, all the problems and stuff. And, and I think it really just almost kind of comes off is like a justification or a reasoning or like, yeah, guys, like, let me let me just explain this and, and justify this. And that's the thing based on what happened, assuming that everything that was said was true. There really is no justification. Yeah. Like he, if he would have just said, I, I went to therapy, I'm going to therapy, etc. It's like, that's an admirable thing to do. You know, like that's, that's a great step. But like the other stuff, it's like, dang, dude, like maybe he didn't mean it that way, but it really just kind of felt like guys, like I've had it hard, man. I'm just going to read one more paragraph together because this apology, it's all just kind of the same thing at the end of the day. And it's just, I, you'll, you'll see lust, sex, love, and arousal were all coping tools for me. And I returned to them repeatedly. I detached my own feelings and emotions from most of my sexual interactions. I hit or lied about my behavior to escape reproach. I was a habitual cheater. I have been unfaithful in many, if not most of my relationships, including the relationship with my wife, who has with all her might, patience, and grace tried to hold on to our marriage together, despite having to endure the pain of the revelations of my past. It is heart-wrenching that the most important changes in my life have come at the expense of others. And keep in mind, this is just my opinion, but I think the reason that this really didn't settle with me super well and I read it the first time, you hear a lot of me, I, my, and it just doesn't really come off as an apology. It just kind of comes off as seeking validation or, or approval or something. Not so much an apology, but just like, hey guys, here's what happened. And like, I know everyone's going to read this and be like, oh, Jesse, like, we're so sorry. And like, we're so glad that like, you've apologized. Like, it's like, it's all good, man. Like, you know, like just, just take a month off, man. Take a mental health break and then just get back to it, man. You know, like as long as you apologize, like everyone that was involved, you know, like I'm sure they'll understand, you know what I mean? That's totally how it works when this stuff happens. If you personally know me or have been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that I don't say that stuff to talk crap or to be mean. That is just my genuine analysis and opinion on the words that he spoke and put onto the internet. I think the reason that Brand New fell from grace so incredibly hard in the way that they did was because they were beloved. I'm talking like here, just like freaking through the roof type of fan dedication. But I just think that they'd been so consistent for so many years. The band could do no wrong. I know some people didn't like Daisy, but the band could just really do no wrong. Everyone loved them. So when it came out, people were crushed, dude. Like just freaking like like just oh like man no no tell me it's not real tell me it's not real and then jesse comes on gives a it an apology and it's just like that was just the oh i just really think that was what did it and as if the alleged action and the apology weren't bad enough to just just put them in the ground as a band the fact that all this stuff happened so many years ago it, it just probably made people feel like they'd been living a lie like they were just like this is never even what i thought it was i completely understand that i've had that experience with some old friends with you know everyone's had that experience to an extent but with the music that you listen to love the bands that you treasure you don't expect that to happen and when it does and there are victims involved and it hurts people it hurts you most importantly it hurts the people involved that that's what i'm getting at but man it's just it's just so crushing dude my thoughts are brand new will never be able to recover from this not in a million years it, as sad as it is that, that it had to end like this with those actions that apology etc it's you know it, it's heartbreaking for me for the fans for everyone involved it really sucks ultimately the people that were hurt are the people that I feel the most sorry for. Of course, that goes without saying. But nonetheless, their music has impacted my life and changed it in many ways for the better. They've helped me through a lot. And, and I am a person that is able to separate the art from the artist. If you can, I think that's great. If you cannot, I think that's equally as great because that means you're an individual that thinks about things and you form your own opinions. And I think that's outstanding. That's all you could ever really ask for in life is to be an individual. Think for yourself, come to your own conclusions and create your own reality and your future. Future. With that being said, my mates, thank you so much for watching. Have an outstanding balance of your day. If this video made you mad in any type of way, please just comment below. I'd love to talk about it. If we disagree, we can have some civil discourse. I think that'd be really, really cool. Don't be rude unless you really want to. All right, see ya.